is up, you guys? We are back at it again with another video. I'm gonna get right to it, man. I'm gonna get right to it. But before we just just give me a little second, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notifications. Follow us on Instagram and TikTok. Go check out Raza Distinta. You feel me? We dropped some hats this weekend, but we are gonna be dropping some more hats real soon. So y'all go stay tuned and show some love. But guys. I'm gonna just get straight into this video. I don't wanna hold you out for too long. You guys, this is not clickbait, okay? I promise you guys, this is not clickbait. This video is not sponsored. This is just me giving you guys tips, my tips that made me go from this to this right now. You know, a lot of y'all gonna hate and say that this isn't a beard. This is a beard, all right? This is a beard. Compared to what I used to have, I could not grow nothing. As you guys see in this picture right here, once again, boom. I could not grow anything on my face. I only had a mustache and a little like goatee right here. I, I did a lot of research, you guys. A lot, a lot of research, a lot of extra research. But in this video, I'm gonna give you guys all this information, all this research that I did. I'm putting it in a video, try to keep it like five minutes long. And hopefully this is gonna work for you guys. This worked for me 100%. If you guys decide to do this, just be consistent with it, all right? From the beginning, I'm gonna tell y'all right now. If you if you aren't gonna can be if you're not gonna be consistent, this isn't gonna work out for you. When I mean consistent, you gotta do this every single day, as I tell you. These are the three things I'm gonna tell you that you're gonna need, all right? This is what made me get my beard. This is minoxidil right here. Look, guys. This is a minoxidil bottle. There's a whole bunch of different brands. There's like Equate. There's Kirkland. There's Hims. I'm gonna drop down pictures of all of them too for you guys. I don't use it anymore. I'm done using it, but the one that I would always use was this one right here. This is the Equate one. This is the one that I use pretty much the whole process of doing this. And this is the one that I would recommend you guys use because it's the one that worked for me. I only have this one because I could not find any more of the Equate ones. They were sold out. You can find these at Walmart, Target, Fred Myers, I think, probably online. You can get them online, Costco. But yeah, guys, the Equate one is the one that worked for me. And that's the one I'm gonna recommend because that's the one I used. All right, next you're gonna need is a dermal roller right here. You feel me? I'm gonna show y'all how to use it, what it's for, and all that stuff. You can get this on Amazon. I got this on Amazon. I think they might sell these in some stores too, but just I got mine on Amazon. I'll put it right here. I don't know if this is the same exact one, but this is the size because there's different needle sizes. This is the one that I use. You don't need a brush. You know what I'm saying? Just get, you can go to Ross. Ross has brushes all the time. These two things right here are the main things that's gonna help you get a beard. First step to this is you have to have a clean face. All right, you guys, to wash your face, you can use whatever. I use just regular Dove soap. Make sure your face is clean. Let's say this is morning, okay? This is the morning time right here. You wake up, you shower, or if you showered at night, whatever, you wash your face, just make sure your face is clean. We're gonna start with the dermal roller, okay? You only, and this is very important, only use this two times a week. So two times in seven days, okay? So let's say you use it on Monday, the next time you'll use it will probably, should probably be like Thursday or Friday, okay? So two times a week, only use this. What you're gonna do, is wherever you want facial hair to grow. Let's say if you already have a beard and you're just patchy, go over the patchy area with this. If you have nothing, if you have no beard, use this all over your face, wherever you want your beard to grow, right? So what I do is I just go at it, you feel me? I usually do it for like 30 seconds on each side. I'll like alternate in between, you know what I mean? Just because it does, when you start using it at first, it does get a little irritating. I'm not gonna lie, it does get a little irritating at first. But once you get used to it, it feels good. It feels really nice on your face. And what this is for, it opens up your pores a little bit. It allows the blood to flow easier. It's just gonna help your hair grow faster, you feel me? And this is also good if you have acne scars or anything like that, this helps really good too because it breaks down your skin. All that scarring, it breaks it down, so it'll help with acne scarring as well. You can go a little, a little longer, it don't matter. I already, I always have a mustache, so I never went over. But if you don't have a mustache and you want a mustache, obviously you go over right here too. Remember, two times a week only. Two times a week, and every time you use it, I will recommend you to dip it in alcohol and just to disinfect it, and then rinse it off with water, and then just go at it. All right. This is the game changer right here. This is minoxidil. Again, there's different brands. There's liquid. This is liquid, and there's also foam. Um, the liquid, I hear, I heard it tends to be more irritating on the skin 
the foam is supposed to be a little more chill so you don't get irritation as bad. I personally never use the foam so I can't tell y'all if it works or doesn't, but the liquid one, or you start using this, make sure you do your own research. There are some side effects. Um, here, I'll read, off, I'll read off some of the side effects que dice que puede, that it can cause. For sure, if you do have like health issues, health problems, make sure you look into it. Um, me personally, I've never experienced anything, any side effects with it. Most people that I know that have used it also haven't experienced anything, but I'm gonna still read them off just so you guys are aware of what can happen. Some of the more common ones are just like you get really ir like bad irritation on your face. Some people say that it increased his hair loss, which is kind of funny, right? Because you think, you know, this is for hair growth, but I guess it also can cause hair loss on some people. So when you apply this, your, your skin absorbs it, right? That's how your hair is going to grow. And some of the side effects could be like blurred vision, chest pain, dizziness, fainting, headache, and stuff like that. So just be aware, like if you do try it out and you feel any of those symptoms, Mejor just fall back and don't do it when I've never gotten any um, side effects from it But just be careful with that you guys if you guys do do it be careful and make sure you guys look into it Or like I said if you guys have health problems make sure that you guys Just look out for all those things You're gonna use this two times a day in la mañana and how I used it it was in the morning and at night Okay, y'all come with this they all come with this little like little nipple <laughs> And there's there's the one let me see if it focuses. The one milliliter line, you're gonna put it to the one milliliter, and all you're gonna do is you're just gonna apply it to your face, right? So let's say you want hair to grow right here, and then you're just gonna rub it in. You're gonna split the one milliliter evenly on both sides, and you're just gonna rub it in everywhere. Everywhere that you want there to be hair growth, you're just gonna rub it in. Mm. Okay, if, like I said, if you don't have a mustache, Put it up here. Let me tell you, if this goes into your mouth, it's really nasty, it's bitter. So just try to avoid getting anything or like licking around your mouth afterwards. You do it for like a minute, you know, just rub your face real nice and good, wherever you want there to be hair growth. And again, there there is foam. So if this one becomes too irritating, let's say you don't feel all the other side effects like dizziness, headaches, but it does give you like really bad irritation on your face. Maybe try do, using the foam one. I know that that one, I've escuchado, but pues, I've heard that it's a little more chill on your face. So if you don't feel any other things, and the only thing is really like the the itchiness or swellingness of your face, try the foam one and see if that works better for you. In order for this to work, to really kick in, you have to leave it on your face for at least three hours. At least three hours is what I've seen. It, in three hours, I think it absorbs like 90% of it, 90% of what you put on your face. Y ya después, let's say it is kind of getting, your face is getting really dry. You feel like it's, it's bothering you. After three hours, you can wash your face and put lotion and put lotion on your face. Like I said, me personally, I didn't have any side effects. So I just left it on all day. I would put it on in the morning and I would leave it on all day until nighttime. I would wash my face and then I would reapply it and go to sleep. All right. So that's the other, that's the, I guess that's like the more challenging part at nighttime. If it does irritate your skin and you have to wash it after three hours, maybe you're gonna have to set an alarm and get up and come wash your face. But si pueden, just go to sleep with it. Right. Again, you gotta do this two times a day. Those two times a day in the morning and at night. Leave it on for at least three hours. I would recommend leaving it on all day from the morning to the time that you're about to go to sleep. Wash your face at night before you go to sleep and then reapply it and then it just repeats again. You feel me? And then I started seeing results of hair growth in about two months. And I, I think even in a month, I started seeing hair growth. Obviously, it wasn't that dominant. So once I started getting more hair growth, what I did was I bought a brush. The brush is for you to just brush your hair down. You know what I'm saying? Brush your hair down, get the hair trained, get it used to go in a certain direction. So when you do have a full beard, you know, it, it flows. It flows naturally. It flows nice. And that's honestly about it. That's... It's really simple. Yeah, it doesn't take much to do it. You just gotta be really committed to it. Um, you shower in the morning. You can add this this step of adding this. It'll only take like a minute. And then at nighttime, same thing. Just wash your face. It takes a minute to do it and you're chilling. It gets a little more complicated if you have like side effects and things like that, you know? But just know that uh, it worked for me. So it might work for you as well if you're trying to get a beard. But just be careful with it and those side effects, you guys.
Pero como todo, if you try it out and it's not working for you, you can just stop and you should be fine. You should be chilling. Before I forget you guys, you have to use the treatment. It's for six months, all right? The treatment is for six months. Don't miss one day, all right? Try not to miss any days. The whole time I've been doing, the whole time I did this for the six months, I think I might have missed like one or two days at most. So just make it a habit to do it. You gotta do it for six months for the hair to permanently stay there because let's say you do it for a month, you start seeing hair growth and then you stop doing it for like a week. I've also heard, I didn't experience myself, but I've heard that if you stop using it, your hair will start to fall out. This was helping your hairs grow, so if you stop using it before the treatment is over, the hairs are just probably gonna fall out. You know, I didn't experience it, but just make sure that if you do start it, to complete the six months, and hopefully you're gonna have a nice looking beard by the end, you feel me? That is the secret to how I grew my beard. It's nothing crazy to it, you know, but I just thought I'd show you guys my routine. To break it down real quick at the end, one last time, Wash your face before using this. You're gonna use this two times a day in the morning at night. Leave it on for at least three hours after you apply it. I would recommend trying to leave it on the whole day. The derma roller, use it two times a week. Two times a week. And obviously when you, when you use the derma roller and then you apply this, it is gonna burn a little bit because you just opened up your pores, but it is okay to use it still. A lot of people say don't use it, it is okay to use it still. But if you do get irritation, then, then don't apply it right away. You got your brush. When you do start seeing hair growth, get yourself a brush and just brush your hair down, get it trained. And uh, yeah, you guys, so that's the, my tips and the way I did it to grow my beard. Again, I could not grow a beard to save my life before. I could only grow a mustache in this. And this is how it's currently looking. Look, 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 look. And this is how it's currently looking, you guys. All y'all haters gonna say that's not a beard. It's a beard to me, man. I wear pretty shit. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope this helps you guys out. And uh, leave any comments, questions. I'll try to make sure to go through them and answer anything that I can. But you guys, that is what I did. That's what I recommend you guys to do and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed and liked the video don't forget to like comment subscribe turn on your post notifications follow us on instagram and tiktok check out raza distinta dropping some more hats real soon if you do start using it if you do start using it or if you've started using it since watching me because i did upload a few videos on tiktok before send me some pictures through instagram of your guys's results of how you guys are doing you know if you guys do decide to do it y pues ahí estamos raza los quiero mucho cuídense and I'll see y'all next video